Well, howdy there. I'm Simantos Ken. We're gonna play Freedom and Susie. Freedom and Susie is a horror-ish game. It is, let's see, I'll just read you the description here. A uh, short adventure game made by RMN 2013 All Hallows Eve event. Theme was non-fiction horror. And then this game is inspired by a real life crime that happened in Brazil. Yeah. On October 31st, 2002, a couple was found dead in their bed. What first appeared to be a burglar followed by a murder left too many unusual traces, and the police soon figured out who did it was probably someone familiar with the house. Less than a week of investigation revealed that the murder was the murder was planned by the couple's own daughter and the help of her boyfriend and his brother. This game, is, you play it from like each person's point of view, and it's got a disclaimer at the bottom. It is not an attempt to recreate the original story, and it is just it's still a fictional story just based on real events. So. Let us begin. Hey, he's got a plane and he's he's working that plane. Oh yeah. Ooh, hello. Excuse me, sir. What's that? This this is an airplane. It's called the Lucky Star. That's not a real airplane. It's not. Why do you say that? Because it can't fly. Is that right? What if I tell you it can? Wow, really? It flies? Of course it does. Well, at least I think it does. Shall we give it a shot? Yes, make it fly. I mean, please, sir. All right. Fasten your seatbelts because you're not riding on this. It's too small. <laughs> Brum. Oh, there it goes. It's flying. Whee! Oh, collect the stars. Okay. One star. I got one. Alright. Nicolo Chileno Child presents. Oh, God. Can't catch anything. Three whole stars. Oh, rich. Come on, star. <laughs> yeah. Getting all the stars. This isn't really a fucking game about murder. It's like a game about flying an airplane collecting little stars. Hope you make an all Halloween event. Hallow's Eve event 2013. That's what I was telling you guys about. Oh, come on. I missed oh, come on. I'm missing everything. Let's give me this one. Come on. Come on. Oh, I went right. Oh, oh I'm, do I'm like dodging stars now. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. I got it. I got the star. Inspired by a true story. Okie dokie. Ugh, dodging stars. It's a pretty bad A airplane to be catching stars. Susie and Freedom. Can I go faster? Ugh. Dang it. Stop dodging stars. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. I don't. Alright, whatever. How many stars do I gotta get? Just end. Got 25 stars. Oop, oop, oop. I think we're about to wreck. Oh, I flew back and there's a homeless guy with us now. Wow, that was amazing. So cool. Thank you. Oh, one. Buy me one, Daddy. Where did you buy that? Actually, I made it myself. He made himself. That's my brother, a genius at building stuff. How much do you want for it? Oh, sorry, it's not for sale. Come on, if you made it, I'm sure you can make another one. This one's not for sale. This is the lucky star. Please, sir, let me buy it. I want it. Daddy, please. I'll give you 1,000 bucks. Dang, Dan, 1,000 bucks. Come on. I'm sorry, not for sale. Hey, come over here. Come, come over here. Let me let me talk to you for a second. Look, man. You know those guys I told you about? They're after me again. If I don't pay them this week, real bad stuff's gonna happen to me. I'm scared. Help me out here, man. You're my brother. You're the only one I can count on. Again, Chris? When are you gonna stop messing with these people? I'm done with them. This time for real. Last time. Promise. 
I don't know about this. So, what's it gonna be? Will you take the thousand bucks for your toy? Alright, I'll sell it. Really? Yay! Thank you, sir. Here's your money. He's walking around a thousand bucks in your pocket? There's a chick. Thanks, man. Thank you! Come on, son. Let's get going. I like that stash he's got. I didn't give him the controller. <laughs> the last laugh is mine. You owe me big time. I mean, huge time. You know me, I always pay my debts. That changed his voice like eight times. What's with you in these days? Wait, wait, what's with you in these things anyway? Too much investment for a hobby, don't you think? My models are not just hobbies, they're more like therapy. Cause I'm freaking crazy. When I'm flying them, it's almost just like I'm flying with them. My mind flies away, takes away all my problems and worries. They're the only thing that makes me feel free. Deep. I'm here for you, brother, no matter what. You know it. Now give me that thousand bucks, dude. You should lighten up a little. Need some spice? This is like... Okay, just a little. Is this, is this Star Wars where they like deal in spice? Getting high in the park. On that spice. Gotta love the good things in life. You know it. I'm off. Got some errands to run. Hey. Well, 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 this isn't Chris the Troublemaker. What's up, man? I gotta speak with the boss. And who said the boss wants to talk to you, a-hole? Come on, man, I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, that's funny. We weren't looking for trouble the night you sent my brother to the hospital. Oh, weren't you looking? I'm sorry about that, I told you, it was a mistake. I already apologized to him. You apologize too much and no one is buying it anymore. Your word counts for nothing. You're not worth it. You're not worth the spit that comes from my mouth, and you're nothing but a piece of crap. Don't push me, I'm telling you. I said I ain't looking for trouble. If you ain't looking for trouble, you came to the wrong place. Oh, shift. Pee up! <laughs> you ain't looking for trouble, but I'm powered up! Uh, oh, he jumped up, jumped real fast. Pee up again. Power up! Can't be stopped! Can't be stopped! I got too much juice! Power up again! Lord! Got power up again! Ah, oh, Dodd! Try- Ah, oh, hit caps! Try again! Did I make it? Start magnifier. Start narrator. Start narrator. I think I broke something. Hey boss, nice bike you got there. Is it new? Start on Shut up. Keyboard. Whatever you're starting. Set up high contrast. <laughs> I smelled trouble and I found you. What a surprise. Start what is magnifier. this noise? Shut up. It's technical difficulties. Start narrator. I think it's the game. No, it's this. Get out of here. I smell trouble and I found you. What a surprise. No, I need to give him a different name. I smell trouble and I found you. What a surprise. I'm not looking for trouble. You got started. I'm just defending myself. Define yourself. <laughs> you had a heck of a time defending yourself, right? You don't fool me, Chris. You do a terrible job trying to act like a nice guy. You were looking for me? What do you want? I came to pay what I owe you. Oh, is that right? Good, very good, it's all here. Yes it is. Where'd you get this money? I fixed a friend's bike. That's a lot of money for fixing the bike. I have to pay for the stuff I got from you. Do you need more? I have some more right here, good stuff. No, that's it, I want no more business with you. We end here. What's wrong? Cops aren't paying you enough to wrap my guys out. What are you talking about? I have friends, Chris, and I know what you've been doing. I know who you've been talking to. That changed this guy's voice like five times again. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You know what your problem is? You don't know what you want. You have no loyalty. You have no principles. You sell your soul for too little. 
need the money. I don't know what else to do. You just stressed, Chris. You know what? Take some spice on me. Really? Yeah, don't worry about it. You can pay me when you can, right? Yes. No, oh, I fell for it. I'm a very generous person, but don't disappoint me again or you're dead. I've given you too many chances. This is your last one. Don't worry, boss. I won't let you down. You better not, or your head will be on my plate. Tick tock. Got me a new plane. Is that new? Yeah, I'm just finishing it. I called it the Cloud Digger. Nifty. So, have you cleaned your mess? It's all good, don't worry about me. It's Aunt Teresa's birthday, she wants the whole family there. Are you coming? I don't know, I'm not in such a great mood. Cut it out, Mr. Moody. You know she'll be pleased if you go, everyone will. I'll think about it. Hey brother, check it out. Hot blonde this way. Wow, she's... Look at this, sweet! Did you make it? Yes, I made it myself. That's so cool! Thanks. Yes, it's pretty cool. Thanks! You're really talented, you know that? You really think so? Oh yeah, definitely. And very cute too. But ho. Oh. oh. Hey little boy, let me show you this how this thing works. What's your name? I'm Dan. I'm Susie, nice to meet you. I've never seen you around here before. My brother wants to, my, my brother wants to come, so I came with him. Oh, I see. I changed our voice too. Yeah. I'm so glad you did. Well, I'm glad you did. Oh yeah? Why's that? Cause you're very pretty. Oh, you think so, really? Yes, I do. I mean, you are. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Uh, I have this party later today. Would you like to maybe... Sure, I love parties. It's not really a party. It's just a little family thing, actually. Even better, my kind of thing. Or we could go somewhere else if you want. Do something else. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Surprise me. Give me your address and I'll pick you up later. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me up, okay? Never! Come on, brother. Let's go. Bye, Chris! You're a really cool guy! Thanks for everything! No problem. My pleasure. I'll see you around, okay? Michael Jackson voice. Hmm. Nice kid. I like his sister. So, what's up with that? I'm going to meet her later. That's my boy. She's really something. I think I'm... Shut up! <laughs> You've known her for like a minute! I know. I just have a strong feeling about this. Can't trust. Can't trust. I'll be out for the day. Don't wait up, okay? Where did you say you were going again? Good day, family. I got some fantastic news. Well, we're going to have to wait until the next episode to see who that fantastic news is. Thank you for watching. Uh, Susie and Freedom. We just finally met Susie. Awesome. So, see you guys next time. Stay toasty, my friends.